Also on the range, there could be a fresh start for an old building in the city of Buell. A school on the edge of town, empty for four years, has caught some new attention from potential buyers. KBGR 6's Leanne Valdez shares why the building is still vacant and what city officials hope takes its place. Trying to find a perfect client is tough. Buell city officials have been trying to sell this school building for the past couple of years. There's been a steady amount of interest but city administrator Ryan Pervenancy says its size is causing potential buyers to look elsewhere. It's 180,000 square feet. The building, once served as a high school and juvenile correctional facility, has 35 classrooms, six residential wings, a pool, and a couple of gyms. The listing price is $149,000. The annual cost to maintain it sits at $120,000. Pervenancy says the past several years, the city has only had to pay a couple thousand dollars for general maintenance since it's not active. And while they're not having a huge financial issue with it now, it could add up later. We're a small town of a thousand people. We don't have unlimited budget and funds. So the city wants someone to take it off their hands, which could be soon. Over the past three months, five new parties have expressed interest, turning it into a boarding school, a resort, or even an animal training center. Pervenancy says, they're hoping to find the perfect fit. Their number one priority is the citizens of Buell and making sure they have, you know, the resources, the services that they deserve. Buell's mayor says he'd like to see a mental health service proposal. And we just don't have anything on the central range right here and to the eastern part of the range to house some of the students. It wouldn't only be for students from this area, Millie, but it's a need throughout the state. The Masabi Range Juvenile Correctional Facility that used to operate out of that building was Buell's largest employer at the time. It closed down in June 2016 amid controversy.